Hi, so we're gonna take a look at Microsoft Azure Notebooks, okay, and it's Microsoft's installation of Jupyter Notebooks, which I'm gonna to go to in to just a second. So you're gonna search on Azure and then Notebook in Google, and then you're gonna get the first uh, result here and click it. Okay, this is the Azure Notebooks website. Um, what Azure Notebooks is, it is it's, an, it's Microsoft's installation of Jupyter Notebooks. What's Jupyter Notebooks? So Jupyter Notebooks is an in-browser programming environment which combines, combines the code for programming and the output of the code uh, that you can run. So, so it's basically you're seeing the code and the output of the code and documentation or associated text with the code. It's kind of like an all-in-one place. And it's really great and it's become the de facto way that people that are not, um, you know, um, uh, computer science people in general interact with code, so it's a, it's a staple of data science. It's a staple of of different disciplines which are not purely programming. Okay, so we're going to be using it to learn Python, um, but it also can run R, F sharp, and then if you go to Jupyter Note, the Jupyter Notebooks uh, homepage here, you'll see that it can run. I mean, it can run virtually any modern uh, programming language at this point, including C and C. Uh, Julia, um, it only it's only um, limited by the um, kernel that is installed on the um, on the hosting operating system. So for Microsoft, those the things that are set up are Python two, three R, and F sharp. So Python, we're going to take a look at R is a statistical analysis language. So this is for you know primarily data science and statistics, uh, and then F sharp, um, not super common yet, but maybe it will be in the future. So Okay, so let's go ahead and try it now. So we're gonna go ahead and click uh, try it now. Actually, we're gonna go ahead and click sign in. Okay, uh, you're gonna to need to create an account. I already have one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and click next. And then it's backed by GitHub. So, so basically you're gonna be using GitHub repositories. So Git repositories hosted on GitHub. Uh, to uh, and then we're going to run those um, repositories and the, the iPod, sorry, the Jupyter Notebook repositories, sorry, the Jupyter Notebook files that are hosted on GitHub. We're going to run those in Azure Notebooks. Okay, if that's clear. All right, so we're going to go ahead and click next, and we're going to go ahead and log in. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and click yes. Okay, and here we are, we're in Azure Notebooks. So go ahead and sign up, get your account, uh, link it to your GitHub, you, know, your, your, you need two accounts, so you need your Azure Notebooks account. But before you do that, make sure you have your GitHub account all set up. Once you sign in for the first time, you'll have uh, linked those two accounts and you should be on this page of Azure Notebooks. Best of luck.